Hi everyone, welcome back to the Road to Renewal. We're glad you are uh, here with us for our Saturday, April 9th devotion. Our reading today is going to come from the book of Mark, and we're reading verses 32 through 34. So let's see what the scriptures have to say for us today. They were on their way up to Jerusalem with Jesus leading the way, and the disciples were astonished, while those who followed were afraid. Again he took the twelve aside and told them what was going to happen to him. We are going up to Jerusalem, he said, and the Son of Man will be delivered over to the chief priests and the teachers of the law. They will condemn him to death and, he, and will hand him over to the Gentiles, who will mock him and spit on him, flog him and kill him. Three days later he will rise. Let's see what our devotion has to say about that kind of troubling scripture. I remember being called on January 10th, 2014 by my brother-in-law. He told me to come to Kennestone Hospital in Marietta, Georgia because my sister Wanda had taken a turn for the worse. As I entered the emergency room, a nurse directed me to her room. As I entered, Wanda was lying there in excruciating pain and my brother-in-law looked weary. As I stood holding her hand and trying to be encouraging, she uttered, Y'all know I'm not afraid to die. Those seven words will never escape my mind. As sad as I felt, I was encouraged that Wanda was strong and courageous in her faith. As you examine the text for today, Jesus is predicting his death to his disciples for the third time. Although there is no comparison of my sister's statement with the death of our Lord and Savior, I can only imagine how the disciples felt to hear Jesus predict his own death. This time, however, the prediction was in more detail. He said, and the Son of Man will be betrayed by the chief priests and the teachers of the law. They will condemn him to death and will hand him over to the Gentiles who will mock him and spit on him, flog him, and they will kill him. Three days later, he will rise. Nowhere do we witness in this text that the disciples understood or wanted to understand or face Jesus' death. His words were meant to prepare his disciples for their journey without him. I believe Wanda's words were meant to bring us comfort and prepare us for the life without her. But how do we deal with these words, death, dying, and die? If we are honest with ourselves, these words make us feel uncomfortable. We feel awkward, nervous, sad, fearful, frightened, and sometimes even angry. However, as we grow in our faith, we know that death is imminent. Let us bring comfort to someone who is facing death, whether it is a listening ear, a shoulder to cry on, a loving hug, a gentle touch, or a calming spirit. As believers, we must come to understand that death is the entrance into a new dimension of life with Jesus Christ. Christ has promised that he has prepared a place for you and for me. The Bible reveals, do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God, trust also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me so that you may also be where I am. In this passage of scripture today, Jesus captures the spirit of the place that we call heaven. He arose to prepare an eternal home for his followers to join him. Isn't it comforting to know that we have a permanent place with our Lord and Savior? Is your life preparing you for the eternal reward? The good news is that the heavenly reward is not just for the people with great faith that we read about in the Bible. The heavenly reward is for you who eagerly look forward to Christ's return. Let's pray together. Lord, if I'm given the opportunity, allow me to bring comfort to someone who is facing death. Remind me that Jesus has gone on before and that I will go to the place where he is going by my faith in your son. Amen. Have a great day, and we look forward to seeing you in worship tomorrow, either in person or online. Bye, everybody.